Ben's Fast Fireworks Tutorials. Hello, and welcome to Ben's Fast Fireworks Tutorials. Today we're going to be creating some cool buttons and fireworks. As you can see up to my right, that there's an example of what we're going to do today. It'll be really quick and fun. Okay, so first we're going to open up fireworks and create a new document, and let's begin. Okay, now what we're first going to start off doing is just drawing a rectangle. So it kind of almost looks like the shape of a button. About that big. And then we're going to give that a gradient fill. And let's make it, uh, doesn't matter really, uh, uh, just a blue or green. Doesn't matter. But, okay, so we have our blue gradient box. I'm going to drag the gradient to the bottom and make it that a vertical gradient. So one part that I don't like about Firefox is that it's almost impossible to make a straight gradient. Okay, so we're going to bring that down to here. Do something like that. And so with that done, we're also going to go back to the pointer tool and make it round maybe about 60. Now, that looks pretty good. Nice little 60 roundedness. And we're going to add a frame around it. So, in order to do that, we're going to go to bevel and boss here, and we're going to go to outer bevel. And as you can see, that's not the effect that we want. So, we're going to go back to our main color blue here. Choose frame 1 or frame 2, whichever you like. I'm going to go with frame 2, and then we're going to bring this down to 2, and give it maybe a softness, you know, doesn't matter what softness level you give it, but, because it's really small, it's only 2, close. and so we have a little border around it, we're not done yet, we need to add, like a reflecting thing on top of it. So we're going to make another box about that big and then take the gradient and go control 4 to get a little bit closer so we can make sure that the gradient is good. You may want it to be a little bit closer like that. Have a little bit more white and then we're also going to give that roundedness about the same so let's give it a hundred because that way that it will match the roundedness and instead of having it blue like that we're going to change that both to white and make that opacity zero okay let's go back to normal scale as you can see it looks like a pretty neat looking button so far. You may want to adjust the size just a little. So that's looking pretty cool now. We can also add an inner glow, so or inner shadow rather. But we want to change it so it's on the opposite side that we want. So like 90-ish. Doesn't have to be perfect. And we're gonna make it white here. See, it looks kind of like a button. We want to reduce the softness or increase it depending on the style that you want your button. Okay, so that looks like a pretty cool looking button right there. And we can add some other cool stuff to it, like text, such as um, try now. And then. Now, it may be a little bit hard because it starts fading out up there. So what we can do is we can add a glow to it. Make the glow a white glow or black glow depending on, again, the effect. Bring it a one width. Make the softness as low as you can make it basically without like totally eliminating the glow factor and so that looks like a pretty cool button right there 
can also add other ones by simply I'm gonna copy it and paste it, drag it below here, and then edit it so something like below it would be by now. But not to confuse your viewers, you want to make it a different color. Now what's neat about this is because that's the opacity, we don't have to change that color at all. So first we're going to have to change the bevel. We're going to change the bevel to say red. And then we change the whole bevel to this red. So now it looks like a pretty cool looking button right there. If you want to do another one, I mean you can keep doing this for however many times you want. Just drag it down and we'll eventually create a small little menu. So something like uh, Seymour. And you know, of course you can you can change the bevel to uh, a greenish color and do the same for the other one. So there, there's a neat little row of buttons. And then, of course, like if you were going to incorporate this into a website and use like an image map, you could drag that to the bottom and then change the gradient. So something like that. And of course, you know, you can do whatever uh, your depending on your color scheme can really be whatever and then you can add the glow effect or just a drop shadow and maybe you might want an inner glow there just so you can uh, identify the border and so there you might also want to round your edges a little a little too much Okay, and there you go. You have a nice looking uh, menu there. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching my tutorial, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!